Hello guys, welcome back to Vintage Story Homesteading. So isn't that beautiful? What a screenshot to come into here. Now, I've been itching to play this game. Uh, I do have to say it's really hard for me not to play this game uh, and not record it because I just want to go ahead and do a whole bunch of stuff. I really have to slow myself down because uh, with the responsibilities and such, I kind of have to balance my gameplay and my recording and stuff. It's it's fun though. I, I love it. Just the challenge of it all. It's great. Anyway, welcome to my small cabin here. We got a farm going on over there, slowly being taken over by evil grass. And this is our cabin over here. Looks like we can uh, do a bunch more harvesting, too. I should go around and get all of our berries here. Uh, we are preparing for winter. We're going to get a whole bunch of food stocked up. I'm going to take a look into uh, making bread. Bread is a good food. We can make that all of the rye we have. And we need to go, of course, and uh, do some more hunting. I would also like to go and uh, venture down into the underground and uh, maybe hopefully find myself some new and uh, interesting ores so we can advance in our ores a little bit. Oh, and it sounds like we have a wolf friend nearby again. I'm going to have to keep my ear out for him. Okay, that was a lot of berries. Now, um, I set these down a very long time ago and they're finally actually uh, paying off for me here. Uh, what day is it right now? If we pull up our character information with C, we can actually look that up. It's uh, June. So we're still in June. We have lots of time to get prepared for winter. But I want to make sure that we have our food stocked and everything. So this is pretty exciting. There's so much so much to do, I can barely even uh, keep up. Uh, now, if you take a look, too, at our um, stats here for our nutrition, we don't have any grain nutrition. That's why I was saying it's uh, probably a very good idea to get some bread into us because that'll give us that uh, grain need that we have. Now, I do think you can also eat the grain raw, but uh, that to me just sounds honestly a, a little gross. Let's take a look at our uh, garden here. So we have growing, uh, we only have, we have some mature ton turnips, so these must be actually really close to getting mature. Okay, and we're going to have to rotate our crops accordingly as well. Uh, our flax, not even close. We do have a couple more crops down this way here. We don't have a great variety either. We haven't been that lucky. Ah, yes, cabbage. We just got ourselves some cabbage too, so that looks like it'll be uh, a pretty neat. There's a ton of recipes in this game, by the way, that you can make. Uh, so our rye is just starting to grow too. Yes, the growth, <laughs> the growth takes forever, but I like it. It's realistic. It's got us going. Wow, that building looks weird. We really need to build our balcony out there. I think we're going to make it down at the waterfront and stuff, bring the house down. Ah, oh, so much to go on here, guys, but I got to focus. So today here, we're going to head out this morning and uh, we're going to go get some hunting done. We're going to try to find, of course, useful stuff, stuff we need. Uh, I know there's a mine over this way, uh, but we haven't even gone really that far north. So I'm going to head up north. We're going to go north and uh, see what's up that way. Um, I mean... I got some food on me, and uh, we could probably survive off berries. I just got to get rid of all my inventory here. We're finally uh, slightly organized on what I got. Oh my god, these berries are just popping up left and right. Alright, and we are gone. Bye, home. I will see you in a bit. I'll try not to die this time around. Uh, it doesn't really seem to be uh, too much of a consequence of dying, but that's okay. We're all learning, right? I mean... I'm not the best player. For me, what it is, it's a journey, really. And uh, the vision of uh, what you have for your journey. And what it actually ends up turning into. Sometimes it's completely something different. Lead or bits. Lead or bits. Whoa, look at this. Does that mean there's like some sort of lead ore beneath us here? <laughs> I was just talking about right beside the trader here, and uh, I found this. Okay, well let's uh, let's open hand slap this stuff right here and uh, do a little dig and find out what's down here. That sounds pretty fantastic. So I also went uh, over this way to find a stick to see if I can't find a bush. And check this out, there is copper right beside us too that's actually pretty damn sick i'm gonna mark uh, actually it's since it's beside the trader i'll remember there's some copper and stuff over here uh we'll probably actually harvest that right away okay i just need a damn stick i'm gonna chop down a tree that'll give me a stick oh i think i found it here what do we have oh we have lead ore this is cool okay let's take a look at it 
Uh, requires tier two, uh, tier two copper to break. Oh, neat. Okay, well, we found some surface lead. I didn't know this was a thing. Maybe it's uh, a lot more rare, but hey, we, we found some. Uh, quality medium. Oh, it's medium too. That's pretty cool. And we only have, of course, oh, we have two copper pickaxes, but they're almost both broken. Uh, so that's okay. We'll take what we can of this back with us and uh, maybe do a little bit of research. I don't even know what we can do with this lead ore, to be honest. Okay, so there's some things here. I looked up lead. It's given us uh, some basics here. So uh, it's, uh, of course, uh, it says copper bracelet and copper torque. Uh, so apparently you needed to build some armor. Uh, there are lead plates and lead sheets, so I assume they're upgrades for uh, other stuff. So yeah, we can actually, we'll take some of this lead back with us. I mean, why not? Um, but I don't think we're going to actually, yeah, there we go. We just ran out here. Uh, I'm going to dig up some copper from that mine we found over here. We'll, we'll come back for this, uh, for this lead because it doesn't look like we'll need it right away. We have more, way more of a need for this copper. Uh, than anything else. So uh, I'm going to flex and bust into here and get us some copper. Hmm. So the copper is right here. And oh, look at that. I think I left actually a little tiny chunk over there. Let's grab that. There we go. And it doesn't seem like I can find it. Look at this. I've dug out all this ground over here. We've also ran out of the shovel. And uh, I can't find where the copper is. So I'm going to dig down a little bit. And uh, see if I can find it down below. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. So it's one layer down. Look at that. Look at this tricky copper. Okay, I can make me work for it, I guess. And the quality is poor, but whatever. At least we'll be going home with more copper than we need to spend. I'm going to make a couple more of these pickaxes right away. Okay, so I think that was just a really small vein of it, too. I think the poor stuff, actually, you don't get much out of it. So uh, we got all of that. Uh, I think we got most of what we got, uh, needed out of there. So that's pretty cool. Let's take a look here in my inventory, then. Uh, we got 15... Oops. <laughs> that's the uh, that's a lead. 16 poor chunks. I mean, that's not too bad. At least we're heading home with uh, some. Now, I do need some meat, and we need to look for some plants. So now that we're done with our digging stuff... Uh, we can go out and... Oh, there's a cave right here. Okay. Okay, let's mark this one then. Look at that. It's right near the trader too. So I'm going to mark this one right here as a cave. There we go. Cave on the map listed. Um, I think I need torches and stuff to really see very well down here. And I didn't bring my torch at all. So uh, I think this is the best way, though, of finding uh, resources that we can't find on the surface. Like, uh, I think there's tin and stuff. Uh, we have to make some alloys and whatnot. It's going to be uh, pretty crazy and I think kind of fun. So we're going to mark that cave, go out hunting, and then probably come back to it tomorrow unless uh, something crazy happens. Like I said, you never know. You can plan your journey, but sometimes you get sidetracked. Okay, so I've made it over to this uh, very large lake over here. This is, uh, this is a nice sized lake. Look, look, it looks like there are some ruins over there. We might want to check those out at some point. Uh, but going north here, I'm not really seeing anything too crazy interesting. There seems to be some ruins up there. Uh, we definitely don't think have visited those yet. So let's go ahead and, uh, mark these and, uh, take a run over in that direction then. Well, I got myself a rooster, and it looks like it's uh, going to be pretty bad weather here. The wind is picking up and stuff. There we go. Uh, it's those feathers I really think that I want for uh, arrows here. We should take a look, I think, soon as well at uh, bows. Why haven't I even thought about a bow yet? Let's, uh, let's search the survival handbook. Uh, in order to build a bow, you need some flax twine and some sticks. Wow. We should have been all over the bow a long time ago. What am I, what am I thinking? Derp. There we go. We left the fog behind. It seems to be uh, maybe biome specific. I can see the wind still picked up. Uh, but it looks like we're actually headed towards mountains. And uh, this may be right before the mountain, which is uh, pretty damn cool. So I, I would it'd suck if it was like all the way up that cliff. Oh, yeah, it's definitely not up that cliff. It should be right actually ahead of us. Hopefully uh, free of wolves. We've been pretty lucky so far. And uh, we haven't come across any. Was that one I just saw over there? Almost thought I saw one. Watch, it's a rabbit. What the hell was that? 
Oh, it's a rabbit. <laughs> I'm so paranoid of the wolves. They've, they've ganked me a few times now. It's not that I'm afraid of them. It's just sometimes they can really sneak up on you and give you a what for. Hey, check this out. There's another cave right here, too. Maybe we should uh, mark this one. But what do we have here? We have a seed vessel. Nice. That's one I really want. What do we get? What do we get? Uh, let's open this up. We got... Where'd it go? Oh, here they are. Pumpkin seeds. Oh, cool, guys. We got pumpkins. Oh, nice. Pumpkins are sick. Okay, so this, there's copper right here. Yeah, we definitely have to mark this area. Um, I'm going to mark this one here, copper. There's copper in a cave, and there's uh, a little bit of ruins here. They don't actually look too intense. Um, is there any stairs or anything that looks like it may be stairs? No, it does not appear so. So I'm going to assume maybe this one doesn't have any because I really don't want to uh, dig and use my pickaxe at the moment. But was that it? Was that all we got? I thought there was like two ruins right here. Maybe that's both of them right there? Oh, It's actually kind of disappointing. Well, at least I found a vein. And at least I found um, a cave out of the deal. We're good to go there. Okay, so I think I should actually start heading back home here and uh, just kind of keep my eye out for plants and uh, very edible animals. We'll uh, we'll go back home and make a bow too. Uh, we'll probably have to make some arrowheads as well. Those uh, seem pretty easy to make. We made those by mistake with copper the first time. <laughs> uh, in complete panic mode, it was fun. Oh, look, blue clay. Uh, what time is it here? Let's let's take a let's take a look at my character. Uh, it is 1600. Uh, you know what? We have time to dig up some blue, uh, blue clay here. We'll bring some home with us. We got some room in our inventory. Oh crap. Oh crap. Come on, wolf. Bring it on, butter. Yeah, it can't get me in the water. Uh, I need your fat anyway. How's our inventory here? Ooh, we're pretty full. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh,. Maybe chuck some of this blue clay. There we go. And uh, give this guy a good old scrap down. Now there might be... This is a female, so there might be a male around too. I'm going to have to keep my ear out. There we go. We'll switch out for some of that bush meat and uh, some of that fat. We could really use the fat. The leather we could probably use too. Uh, oh crap. There's so much stuff on us. Clay, stone, stone. Okay, we'll get rid of that. There we go. And uh, we'll leave... Uh, ooh. Did we take that bush meat out of them? We didn't. There we go. Let's switch that over for that. There we go. Uh, bush meat's kind of crappy, but it's still food. Okay, let's get home. Ah, uh, nothing like a rabbit stuck in the water and uh, a little bit of bad aim. There we go. Just give him a couple boops. Yeah, gonna bring home some meat too. We gotta make a bunch of stews and uh, seal them here for winter. We gotta do that pretty much, I think, every night. Every time we come back home, uh, bring us home some meat and put this stuff away for the winter oh hey check this out there is copper right over here too I found another vein sweet so we're finding the stuff like crazy here exploring is actually really really worth it in this game I do rather enjoy it okay uh, it kind of keeps like how the game kind of keeps you on the surface for the first little bit so you just don't dig into the ground and live underworld I mean you can do that I guess but I don't know for how long okay so we're gonna put that there uh, we're not gonna pin it perfect there we go and it's just becoming nighttime, and it's time to uh, head home here. Oh, what do we have over here? Let's kill it. Uh, there's our house. We can see it off in the distance. I think it is actually a uh, a wolf or a wolf. This would be a fox. There we go. You're doing it wrong, fox. I'm not supposed to be swimming out in the water. Where did it go? There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's get the fat and stuff from this thing. Oh, so the fox actually did not give us fat. Uh, cool. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Now, that's just a small pelt. I mean, we do have a lot of soil, so... There we go. I'll sacrifice some of that soil. Alright. Let's get home. Ah, uh, here we go. So, home sweet home. Let's uh, immediately go to our garden here and uh, get some of these pumpkin seeds planted. This, uh, this is pretty exciting. Uh, so pumpkin seeds, if we take a look at them, uh, they need P as a nutrient. Oh, that's actually nice. Uh, that's, uh, that's a good, because uh, I don't think we have a lot that requires P. So we're going to plant these right at the back here, 
And uh, hopefully they don't take too long to grow. What's the growth stage at? One of eight. So yeah, so they're not too bad. Uh, but it'd be kind of cool having some pumpkins around. Having a big variety of food. All right, uh, let's go back in. We got to make a bow tonight. We got to make uh, some food. We got to make sure that we have some uh, sticks uh, to make torches. There we go. Almost lost the word. Okay, awesome. Let's go do this. I just... Every time I come back home, sometimes I just lose words for it. Just I, I know a lot of people don't like Minecraft, but I, I was an avid fan, avid fan back in the day, and I just kind of played myself out with it. But playing a version like this that just works so well as a standalone, I don't have to you know figure out the modding. I don't have to play with anything else. I could just install this for what I would have probably gave to the author of the mod. Anyway, um, I find it a great deal. So, I mean, I really recommend this game. I know a lot of people are like, just install something on Minecraft, and I mean, that works. But for me, this is a great option. I'm, I'm really loving this game, too. It's a ton of fun. All right, enough, uh, enough slobbering over the game. Uh, we got some stuff to do here. I got some things to put away. We need to get some food going. Okay, so I've put together some twine here. I think for the bow, let's take a look at our handbook here. Uh, look up the bow again. I think for the bow, we actually need, damn, we do need three flax twine. I thought we had that much already kind of saved up. Uh, I'm going to take a look around and uh, make sure that I'm not just missing it. All right, so we got some food going on here. Now, uh, this is taking us a while, so I think it's actually worthwhile for us to uh, start investing in a second fire here. So I'm actually going to pop out a couple of these. That'll give us a little more room and uh, actually set up a few more fires. All I need is a uh, few pieces of grass, and we definitely have a lot of that. Whoops, I need to do it with my knife here. Forgot my noob stuff. All right, so we got a second fire going on here, so let's uh, let's get this lit. I'm gonna grab that torch. This uh, metal torch holder is the best thing ever, too, by the way. Uh, so we're gonna get that one lit, and uh, we're gonna make another, I think, food in there. That way we can do uh, two things at once. There we go. <laughs> Completely doing that wrong. Uh, so we only have two clay plots, or two clay pots, I believe, at the moment. So that should uh, work. Uh, now, damn, look at this. We only have uh, three poultry. We might have some in the food here. No, we don't, actually. Um, wait, we have red moon, or red food. <laughs> wait, how bad is this? 19% uh, spoiled. Oh, okay, that might not to be too bad. Now, I wonder if you can mix these types of food together. Oh, you can. Poultry red meat stew. That's actually kind of cool. And uh, we'll give it some berries there with cranberries. Nice. That'll actually make us a nice little dish. Okay, um, I'm going to get these put away. And then in here, I'm going to start curing these things. I'm going to get those going. Okay, so this one here is done. We're going to go ahead and uh, combine that with... Uh, some fat. Here we go. Oh, we don't even actually need to move that into our inventory. Here, we put that on top of that, and there we go. So now you can see we're down at the bottom where it says green. It's sealed. Uh, it'll last us much, much longer. So we can put that in our uh, storage downstairs. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, take that out and fire up some more of these crocs here. There we go. One more croc fired up. We're going to grab the food out of there. Uh, take this croc and get this one fired. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna have to make some more of these uh, soon too. There's just so much to do. That's what I love about games like this. There's just always something to do. So we're gonna get this one uh, sealed up as well. Here we go. Uh, like I said, we only have four animal fat. This stuff is so very valuable. This one, uh, this one's actually sealed. Where is the one? Oh, did I put that? I put it back down on the ground. Here we go. Let's grab it. There we go. And uh, we'll get this one sealed up then. There we go. Two more sealed crocs for the winter. And uh, anything else, I think pretty much from here we're going to uh, eat immediately. So let's get some of that bush meat going again. I mean, these fires are just kind of going off by themselves, so you may as well. There we go. And we got one more fired croc uh, ready for food. So next thing we need to do is actually uh, fire up uh, 200 or 100 we can do uh, one head at a time here uh, we need a new copper axe so I need to fire up some more copper here there it is I had to find the crucible too you know it's actually been a while since I've uh, I've done this maybe I should get two um, 
two molds in for the pickaxe heads. There we go. Had a hard time getting that one out, but we got it out. So this uh, this is going to take a, a second here. I'm going to make sure I top off that fire. And we got to check on our other fires here because they're uh, probably not really doing too much. There we go. We got another fired croc. Cool. Okay, so this one here uh, we may as well take and uh, move it offline and get our clay out and maybe make ourselves uh, a few useful things. So first thing we're going to make is uh, a set of four... Uh, Hmm. Maybe we can make a new crucible too so we can get more than one set fired up at a time. I think that would be uh, kind of nice. Uh, but we need four raw crocs. We need to keep these things going too. So let's check this fire here. Uh, we're still not even really... Oh wait, well, I'm doing this wrong. I'm using firewood. Holy new move guys. You probably are yelling at me already. Uh, we need to use uh, some coal up in here. So let's, uh, let's use up some of this black coal as it uses up our inventory space anyway. And get that fired up well enough. <laughs> Wow. Like I said, there's so much to remember. That's why I love this game. There we go. Four more crocs. All nice and done. And into our inventory. So these I think I'm going to actually uh, line up along the windowsill here just for now to keep them out of the way. Uh, they do need to be fired up, but not quite at this moment. Look at that. It's even starting to become daytime too. Uh, there's just so much to do. I couldn't get it done in the overnight. Now this is another clay form for the uh, pickaxe. Uh, tool mold, but we'll at least get one going here. Let's grab this thing up. It is good to go. We're actually wasting coal there. So we'll take that out and uh, get this dumped. And as soon as it's cool, uh, we'll make ourselves another pickaxe and uh, head on out and check out one of those caves. See if we can't find any more uh, new ores. Okay, so we'll get uh, that mold fired up. We'll actually start this fire, I think, again. Actually, you know what? Let's take this one here. Is this fire pit like... Oh, it's cold too, so yeah. Um, we'll get another... Uh, actually, we'll get two of these going here. I think uh, four of these maybe hopefully should be enough. Oh, it's still going. Oh, okay, I thought it said cold. My bad. Uh, let's see if this one here will go too. Nice. So four of each, and uh, we'll get a couple of these in there too. May as well. I mean, make the most of our time, right? Uh, I'm going to say five, I think. Maybe five. Okay, so since I have the food we made on the overnight here, we got two more crocs done, which actually isn't too bad. Uh, we're waiting on the copper to cool here. Should have done this actually first thing, I think, on the overnight. Then we would be out of here by now. But hey, learning lessons, right? Really got to manage your time. Oh, it's that damn shift button. Gets me every time on the ladder. But there we go. Okay, so uh, let's take these out. Uh, if we take a look here, we'll close that door for a second. Uh, we got 1.4 years, 1.4 years, 1.4 years. So yeah, these aren't going bad anytime soon. Let's throw these down in our storage. Look how many shells we have for our storage. I want to fill these all up. There we go. So yeah, this place is pretty damn cool. I like it. Uh, that, by the way, guys, is called the root cellar. I know I've been calling it my storage, but the uh, proper name for it is uh, root cellar. Okay, so we fired up our other pickaxe mold here, so um, I'm going to go ahead, I think, and just uh, place it over here. There we go. And uh, now next time we'll be able to make two at once, so it'll be a little easier. There we go. Croc is fired. So yeah, it looks like four it was actually about the perfect amount to get these, uh, these crocs all done. There we go. We'll take that one out too and save the firewood. Okay. There we go. So I just got a little bit of waiting time left on the uh, the copper pickaxe head here. So we may as well go out, I think, and uh, take a look at the garden. Maybe do a few things around the house here. I can. Uh, I'll probably actually. What's a good idea is uh, go and collect a lot of this um, uh, charcoal up. We haven't uh, we haven't harvested this yet since we started it. So I'll give this a go. Okay, and charcoal pit is dug up, dug up, dug up, and we got another 47 charcoal of that. So uh, not a bad deal. We shouldn't actually need this thing uh, for the next little while. We're getting a little low on the fire firewood, but um, I think we're still doing okay. So I'm gonna put this stuff away here, and uh, we'll get that axe together, it's, or pickaxe together, ASAP. There we go, copper pickaxe head is done. Nice, let's go head off and uh, find a mine. Now the one beside the trader, I think, uh, is what we're gonna be going for. I'm pretty sure there was one right beside the trader. Yeah, right up here. Um, be a pretty cool waypoint to check out. Let's go do that. We're gonna take off. Uh, it should only take us maybe about 45 seconds a minute. 
Um, as long as I don't run into any trouble here along the way. Uh, one thing I actually haven't checked out for a while is the, uh, the animal trap over this way. Uh, we need to check this, I think, on our way home and uh, kill any animal that might be possibly trapped in it. But uh, it doesn't even look like... Oh, there's a little tiny rabbit down there. I think these guys are babies, though, so they're not really... Yeah, they're babies. I don't really want to kill them. They don't give anything off. Uh, they may trap a wolf in there. Uh, they may be wolf bait, so we'll save them that way. And uh, look at this. Right off the bat, we got a... Oh, I was hoping to catch it in the water, but uh, it got away. Okay, and oh, look at that. There's some fire clay right here. Oh, right here, this close. Where the heck are we even? Right by the trader. There's another thing of fire clay right over here. Or oh, is this one we're already digging up? Oh, yeah, it is. Wow, that was a big derp. Okay, here we go. We got a mine right here, and we got a bunch of rams and stuff outside of it. Now, those are really, really good to harvest for food. They're pretty tough, but if you can get them stuck in a hole, uh, stuck in water, or maybe shoot them. Oh, you know the one thing I did forget, guys? Oh, wow, that was a big stupid. I forgot torches. We need torches down there so we can see and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to have to make a fire. I'm going to chop down a few trees here, make a fire, get us some sticks. You guys know the drill. So I'm starting to look at the bottom of the trees here, and someone said at an earlier point sometimes it's better to, uh, like if you're looking to make your tool last a long time, is to um, actually take the leaves out first, take them out themselves. Oh damn, look, we actually got one stuck up there. And I'm getting a lot of bird saplings from doing this too, but um, if you take a look... Oh, we broke it. But these branches here, uh, the ones with the, the brown in them, those are the ones that give uh, leaves, or these leaves here with <laughs> the brown in them are the one that give branches. All right, so I'm gonna break. Can I break these by hand and still get them? Oh, I can. I was actually wasting my tool. I shouldn't have done that. Holy crap! Where did you guys come from? Whoa! I'm over here making my fire starter stuff, and then these guys come out of nowhere. What are these guys even? These are just surface drifters. Holy crap! Actually, we could use your flax. Get back here. Your flax is very useful. Okay, well, we got this one at least. Jeez, I thought that was coming actually from underground. I wasn't even paying attention because we're near the cave. There we go. One more flax. Nice. I need to kill a few more of those guys to get our flax. I'm hoping we can find them in the cave while we're down there. Whew, that was creepy. Just snuck up on us like nothing. I think they know when you're not paying attention. They know these things. Oh, look at these guys. What? Whoa. We've got a few more surface drifters going on down here. So this is definitely where they've been coming from. Uh, may as well give him a few hits here. He might run off, but... Oh, look at that. We got him. The other one was like, screw this. I am out of here. That seems to be uh, how these guys operate. So he did a little bit of damage to us, but not much. Uh, these guys give flax, so... And that means we can build a bow and arrow once we get enough. Maybe it's this fire. Maybe, maybe it's a fire attracting them. That could be possible, too. There we go, we have our torches done. So we have a, a campfire just kind of sitting here. So what I'm going to do is uh, pile up some firewood beside it, uh, just in case we ever need to use it again. I mean, it's right outside of mine, so it may be of use here at some point. Uh, so this is going to make me hungry holding this, but um, I really don't care. I'm going to put one in my offhand. There we go, and these uh, will be for the puttins. Let's go and uh, do some explorings here. Let's see what's going on. We had some guys coming out of here, and I'm not too afraid of them. In numbers, they might be a challenge, but surface drifters really don't seem to be a thing. Now, I imagine if you go deep, then maybe there's some there's some uh, tougher, tougher drifters, but I haven't seen any yet. Hmm, there seems to be a lot of water that way, so I'm going to ignore that way. Oh, oh, damn it, there we go. Um, we're gonna ignore that way. It seems to be a big drop-off too, so I really don't want to go too deep just yet and get myself stuck. I just want to see if we can find some, uh, cool surface ores here. So we really want to- sorry, I mean, cool low- Oh, sorry guys, I keep getting distracted. It's a cool cave noise. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty much just looking to find ores we haven't found yet. Now, as you can see, my bar is actually moving, which means... Oh, what's this? It's stacked my light. Oh. Can we, can we destroy this? 
Does it give us anything? Does not appear to really actually even give us anything, which kind of sucks. Whoa, look at this dude right here. What do we got? We got a surface drifter. Come at me, buddy. I need your flax. There we go. I ain't, I'm not afraid of you. You're afraid of me. See, look at you go. There we go. And he is down. Does he have any buddies up in here? It's not up here, so. Okay, give me your flags, good friend. And he has nothing on him, damn it. Haven't found any uh, cool sur or cool ores yet. I don't know why I keep calling them surface ores, but. Got some music going on for the ambience. I love it. These things are cool, too. I wonder if there's a. Uh... Uh, requires tier, tier 2... Oh, okay, that's the claystone I'm looking at. Damn it. be really cool if you could bring some of this stuff home or it was made useful. Okay, so it looks like there's really not much going on over that way. So I'm going to venture over here. I think it's a good idea maybe to bring some dirt with you too. Uh, just so you can like block off water and, and that kind of deal so that you don't really have to deal with it, right? There we go. Because uh, water is hard to navigate around. And it looks like... This is pretty much it down here. Not finding anything in this this place at all. That's kind of disappointing. Oh, we have a little bit of a mine over this way. Let's check this out. There we go. Does this bring us anywhere? Almost to that other place over there. Actually, you know what? Let's go jump over and see if there's anything over there. Whoa. Oh my god, I suck. Uh, I suck at Mario. Okay, so we'll go over into this tunnel then, I guess. See if we can't find anything down here. And whoa! Looks like it drops off deep down there, but there might be something down there. I think I might see something. So, um, I guess I'm willing to take a risk here. If we do, we lose everything in this mine. We'll have to come back and uh, try to find it and require some preparation once again. I uh, get out to make some torches and everything, but uh, we should be pretty good at home. Okay, uh, can we. Oh, what's this right here? Zinc ore! Oh, we found zinc, guys! Check this out right behind us. You can barely see this crap, but what does this give us? Is this zinc tin? I don't, I don't think so. But let's take a look here. Let's take a look, see what this gives us. We got rich chunk of uh, crushed with hammered extract nuggets. Oh, it is uh, zinc. Okay, so what can we make out of zinc? Let's open up the uh, the handbook here and take a look. Zinc ingots, zinc plates, zinc sheets. Uh, so yeah, it looks like we might be able to make some stuff out of uh, out of uh, zinc. That's kind of cool. Okay, so Bronze Age acquires uh, one of the three types of bronze. So bismuth bronze. Find zinc ore and bismuth ore. Uh, mix it in with copper. So we can actually mix the zinc in with copper uh, to make the next <laughs> up level stuff. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, this is what I wanted to come in here for. Nice. Found ourselves some zinc, guys. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm excited about this, if you can't tell. Here we go. Now, this water is going to be a pain in our butt here. Uh, I'm going to see if there's a way to divert this water. Maybe uh, make a hole right here. Will it will it fill in this way instead? A flowing over? Or do we actually have to, like, physically block it with blocks? Oh, we do, damn it. We don't have any blocks on us either. We can't even make any because we don't have any clay. Wow. Talk about being uh, very unprepared. Okay, well, at least most of this seems to be, like, under this little bit of a waterfall here. Uh, oh, and this quality is rich, too. That's sick. So we're getting actually really good quality ingots out of this. Nice. And it looks like that might be about it because it, it probably got uh, cut off on us here. But let's go ahead, grab this one sink that's sitting here. Oh, no, look at this. There's even more. Nice. This is going to be a little hard to get, though. Probably uh, try my patience a bit. There we go. We got those couple, and it looks like we got what we could from there. Cool. Well, that's what I came for, guys. So uh, let's head back home. I can actually use this water to get up, too. Um, so a little bit of a win on that, I guess. Uh, let's get back home and uh, see about the zinc, I think, in the next episode. Oh, wow, yeah. Unfortunately, guys, I have completely run out of time to get this one done. So uh, we got to go here and on the run. It looks like there's a guy trapped down that way. Let's go kill him. And then uh, and then we'll... Oh, him? Them? There we go. These are just surface guys, so they're pretty easy. 
There we go. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we should be able to make the bow, I think, after this, too. That'll be pretty exciting. There we go. Come on, dude. Yeah. Ah, stupid surface drifters. Okay, let's get these guys all skinned up and uh, see if we can't get that last piece of flax that we need. Oh, no. Nothing. We need three flax, I think. And, uh, yeah, we only have one, so we didn't even kill enough drifters to get them. Wow. Even flax is, uh, seems to be rare from drifters. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to head on home. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit the like button. If you'd like to promote it, please share the video. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Stay cool.